Kia ora team and welcome to our fourth video on Achievement Standard 91328. Uh, in this video we're going to be looking at stability, balance and centre of gravity. Learning outcome for today is to be able to label and define stability, balance, centre of gravity, base of support and line of gravity. We would also like you to be able to describe a range of factors that can affect balance and stability. Alright, let's take a look at stability. Stability is the body's resistance to movement. It can be affected by centre of gravity, base of support, line of gravity and mass. So stability requires a high degree of equilibrium. An athlete's loss of stability can have an adverse effect on their ability to perform the skills of a given sport with control. A loss of control can affect factors such as force production and accuracy. Or, if you're a horse, it can make it difficult to stand on a Swiss ball. Balance is the ability to maintain the line of gravity of a body within the base of support with minimal postural sway. Balance can be separated into two types. You've got static balance, which is balance when the body is at rest or not moving. And you've got dynamic balance, which is balance when the body is moving. Centre of gravity is the centre of an object's mass and the point around which the mass of the object is equally balanced. All people and objects have a centre of gravity, which can shift depending on the position or movement of the person or object. A centre of, uh, a centre of gravity is an imaginary point uh, within or outside the body of an or an object around which the body or object is balanced. You can often easily find a centre of gravity of, of, a, of a plain object. For example, take a ruler, place it across one finger and shift it until it stays horizontal and doesn't fall to the ground off your finger. The point at which it is balancing is its centre of gravity. It's not always so easy though to find the exact centre of gravity on a human, particularly when you're considering um, action and sport. In some sports the centre of gravity shifts really quickly. An example of this is uh, during high jump, diving or, or gymnastics. Remember also that the centre of gravity doesn't need to lie within the physical limits uh, of an object or a person. Um, the picture on the slide on the left is just a bit of a demonstration of how your centre of gravity can vary depending on your age, your gender and even your mass. Base of support is defined as the area within an outline of all ground contact points. The greater the number of contact points, the larger the base of support and the more stability a person has. When the centre of gravity moves outside the base of support, the, per the person becomes unstable and risks falling over. When standing, we typically have two feet in contact with, our, with the ground. If our feet are close together, we feel less stable than when the feet are spread apart. Increasing the distance between the feet increases what is termed our base of support. The image on the right, uh, if you look closely, shows three base of bases of support. Um, the first one is someone standing on one foot. The second, someone standing on two feet. And finally, that third one is someone standing on two feet while holding a cane. With each example, uh, progressive example, the base of support increases. So the person becomes more stable. Line of gravity helps you determine balance. It can be re represented by drawing a straight line from the centre of gravity directly to the ground. If the line of gravity passes through the base of support, then the object is in balance. The base of support on the left is as wide as the person's two feet, so the line of gravity clearly passes through the base of support. If the line of gravity touches the ground at a point outside of the base of the support, uh, base of support, then the object will tip over. And looking at the image on the right, um, because they're on one foot, they have a much smaller base of support. Also, their side lean shifts their centre of gravity to the left of them. This causes the line of gravity to fall outside the base of support, causing the body to become unbalanced and likely to topple unless action is taken to increase their base of support. So that was just a very brief look at uh, balance, uh, stability and centre of gravity. Um, get your wish sheets done, 
come up with a really good question so that we can share it with the rest of the class. Um, and I'll see you next week in our theory session. Cheers.